The Prentice also Heating and Air Coaches Quarter, fueled by Donut Country and McDonald's Murfreesboro on FM 101.9 and AM 1450 Murfreesboro, FM 100.5 Smyrna, and streaming at WGNSSports.com. The Coaches Show is brought to you by Prentice Also Heating and Air, family owned and operated since 1977. Get the best service with Prentice Also Heating and Air online at prenticealsup.com. Danny Brewer here. Man, I'm just super excited because I got the back half of the Kreisky double here with me. I got Matt Kreisky, head football coach, Blackman High School. Coach, how are you this morning? Pretty good. How are you doing? Well, outstanding. Like I've talked with the other two coaches, it's a wonderful September day, and we got a lot to be happy about. Yes, sir. I want to give a shout-out to uh, Big Nate. It's his birthday today, so I want to tell our youth director, youth football director, does a, does a great job for us. Um, can't say enough great things about Nate. I think you know Nate well. Um, it's his birthday today, so I want to give him a huge shout-out and uh, tell him thank you for all that he does for us. Nate Sharon is one of the pillars of the community. You know, uh, I do know Nate. Uh, he's a fantastic guy. I wish I could do half of what he does on the bench press because, you know, he's pretty incredible. I've seen him in action. Yeah. And, and I, have, has he been in the weight room putting on a display? Uh, no, he, we, we try to get him to, but he, he hasn't yet. <laughs> So. <laughs> well, because his his uh, I'd see him at Gold's Gym, and he would have his son in there, and like like Nate's like repping like two twenty five like twenty times. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's just like just like just like pro football combine type yeah. stuff. I mean, you know, uh, but but Nate, and that's one of the things we're going to talk about here in a minute. As far as the Blackman football community, or uh, we'll talk about it right now. The Blackman football community. I mean, I know back about. Of course, they had the Blackman's been around for a while, but in about 2009, a guy named Philip Shadowen took over that program, and he kind of changed the culture over there, and it's been changed ever since, and it's been really, really good. And the the Blackman community talk about that and the youth program because yeah. you mentioned that, and that's got to be huge for you. Yeah, and you can't say enough uh, about what Nate does. Um, you know, he's up there all weekends uh, running the youth program. Um, also, another guy that's been around. Um, with that philip brought over was uh Dwayne beasley J- Dwayne beasley he comes uh every afternoon works out kids in the community not only in the blackman community but all over uh rutherford county and um you know he invests a lot of time in them um and so it's just what the blackman community and i saw it last night man and i may get a little emotional but uh man it's just great you know and i'm sorry but uh what i saw last night from the community administration just everything i mean it's just it's great. I'm, I'm very appreciative to be a part of it. And, um, you know, things didn't end the way I wanted to, and that's why I'm a little emotional. But, um, you know, and it's a reflection on me. Um, and so, but, you know, just to see their support and everything that happened, and, you know, that's not what I'm about, not what I teach these kids to do. Um, but, you know, and it's just it's part of the game. It's part of life. They're going to be thrown with some adversity, um, and things are going to happen in life. They got to learn how to handle it better than what we handled it last night. Things are going. People are going to do things to you that you don't agree with, that you don't accept. But you know, so you don't get in trouble. So nothing happens. You, you you've got to you got to just walk away. It is what it is. You got to walk away. Um, and you know, so I'm I'm, I'm very upset uh, about how everything ended last night. I thought the kids played well. The kids played hard. The kids did everything we asked them to do um, for four quarters. They did everything we asked them to do. Um, we didn't win the game. Not gonna make any excuses. Not gonna put any blame on anybody. At the end of the day, it, it falls on me, 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 only me. Um, you know, and I got to do a better job to get these guys prepared better in every in every little situation to make sure that things like this does does not happen. Um, but like you going back to your question, I cannot say enough thing, enough great things about this Blackman community, about their support. Um, I'm very appreciative to be a part of it. Um, everything, Mr. Smith and the entire administration, the faculty, what they do for us, I, I can't say enough great things about it. Because when you when you when we think back about you know guys like Octavius Mathers and and Juwan Jennings and guys like that who have come up to the Blackman program and and in the Blackman system and created this fire. I mean, this the Blackman blaze. There's a fire burning over there, and I'm just going to tell you right now, Coach, you're a big part of that. And and your passion and your emotions. That's why Blackman Blaze, uh, you know, is where they're at right now. Yeah, and I I appreciate it. We just, you know, it it, it hurts, it stings, uh, because we're right there. I mean, you look at our three losses three of the top teams in the state you know we're right there in every single game um we just haven't finished yet 
Um, so we're going to come back to work. Uh, the kids going to bring them in early Monday morning, get, get back, get our game plan ready for Siegel. We're going to take it one game at a time. We will get this 11th game, um, and we'll see see what it, how the chips fall after that. Because um, I know these kids uh, are going to come back ready to work um, on Monday, and uh, you know I'm, I'm a proud I'm proud. You know they got they came back in the locker room. Um, they did everything we asked them to in, in the locker room. They sat there uh, for 30, 45 minutes after the game. We talked to them, talked to them about life, talked to them about, you know, just other than football, you know, and they, they were, you know, they responded well, um, you know, so Monday morning we're going to come back ready to work. we got another big region game. Uh, we travel to Siegel, and that's going to be huge. So, Coach, I know uh, for those who don't know, lost 13-12, led most of the game uh, until late in the fourth quarter, field goal blocked at the end, had a chance to win, just come up one play short, but another log on the fire. I mean, because like you said, you've played you've played a really tough schedule. You've had a chance in every football game, another log on the Blackman fire. It, it is, um, you know, and I told the kids, I mean, what we've gone through, we're two and three, we could easily be, you know, we could easily be, you know, Three and two, four, four and one, or whatever, but but we're not. Um, and that's I like to correlate everything in life. You know, things are you know year by year. When you're a father, when you're a husband, you know when you're dealing with with, with work on daily, things are not going to go your way. Um, but it's not how it starts and how it ends. How are we going to end in these last five games? What are we going to do? You know, are we going to sulk? Are we going to pout um, because things are not going our way? Are we going to man up and accept the challenge? and you know come ready to fight and work these next five weeks um you know we, we've got a tough schedule i mean region play rutherford county you know I, I came here for a reason i came here for a reason to play these type of games that we played last night i love defensive defensive and physical physical football that's what i'm about that's my brand um and it, it was a fun football game last night you know you did the physicality of that from both sides you know from offense to defense special teams I mean that was a four quarter battle you know and what you love to see you see a team Oakland was down 12 nothing they never quit they never gave up both teams fought until until that horn blew in the fourth quarter and that's the type of football game you want to see week in and week out that's what Rutherford County football is all about amen brother uh that's and that's how you grow young men let's talk about a couple of your young men uh ethan carson i think uh seven tackles and four tackles for loss last night how about that kid yeah you can't again you can't say enough great things about ethan, ethan carson um he, he's a leader uh on the field he's a leader off the field um and it's just you know it's it's, it's just great great to see him kids that are bought in to what we're doing kid, a young man that came in the locker room after the game and just tell them you know we got more things to worry about than fighting with each other fighting fighting with a cr cross town opponent we our goal is to make the playoffs he he led the locker room when we got back in there last night and and that's that's what you want to see um you know and it's just him trey mcgaffey you know you got an offensive line lineman ian and isaiah molina leading the way you know you have a you have a 17 year old kid coming into your office bawling crying after loss putting all the blame on him no it's the blame is not on him you know it's 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 it, it's me you know i told the kid you go enjoy your weekend you have a great weekend don't worry about it things are going to be fine um you know and i apologize i know i'm worked up today um but you know these kids shouldn't put the game on them the kicker tyler came came to my office and said no this game is not on you no you know it is what it is there's 16 17 18 year old kids they don't need to set the blame it's a high school football game you go enjoy your weekend. We'll get back to work on Monday. Coach, I think that you, you know, brilliant point. It is just a high school football game. It's a building block for yeah. life. It's a building block for life. And that's what you're trying to do with this, yeah. right? I, that, that's what I'm all about. You know, that, that's me. I probably, you know, I hopefully one day I'll win a state championship. If I don't, it is what it is. I'm here to help these young men grow and become better people. Um, you know, the biggest, biggest satisfaction I get is going to their weddings you know them them sending me pictures when they have kids and, and things like that 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 that's what i get you know my biggest satisfaction now helping them grow as young men doing the right thing you know we had one of our captains uh last night a, a senior I, i'll say his name Braden carter you know he, he's done a he's turned a 360 since we've been there and he deserved to be a captain last night he ran our scout team special teams and got our defense prepared by the way he practiced a senior did not treat scout uh offense scout like it was just you know just you got to be there no he he took pride in it and helped our defense get better the reason our defense had success last night is because what Braden carter did 
during the week to help our defense prepare. You mentioned this kid already, Trey McGaffey. I think uh, nine tackles in a pick last night. Yeah, yeah, Trey, man, he's – you know, you look at him, he's an undersized kid. You know, any, anybody in this area, you know, I'd, I'd call middle right now and tell them they're crazy if, if they wouldn't offer this this young man a scholarship. This kid is nasty. He's mean. When, the, when he steps on the field on Friday night, he sacrifices his body and everything that he has – for the team and for the Blackman community, and to watch him play every Friday night and what he does is, is special. It's, it's fun to watch. That's what you call a football player, yes, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so look, how about another football player, Marcus Cameron, eleven for thirteen, passing for one hundred twelve yards last night. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, Marcus is is another Friday night light guy. When the lights come on, he's ready to play. Is he going to make mistakes? Yes, he is, but he doesn't sulk. He doesn't get down. He moves on, moves forward. You saw it in that last drive. He got us in position to win the game, to kick a field goal. He did what we asked him to do. Very proud of Marcus, and he's going to have a bright future in the next couple of years. Coach, let's uh, talk about – we've talked about building blocks. We've talked about all this good stuff. Uh, another tough region game, Siegel. Yep, Siegel's a huge game. We've got to turn our focus. we got to move move past uh, last night. we got to, you know, uh, as soon as I got up, you know, I stayed up, you know, quite a bit last night watching film of, of last night. Uh, as soon as I got up, a couple hours of sleep, turned my – true focus to uh Siegel that's what it's all about we've got to be ready we've got to be prepared um because you know Siegel's going to be ready you know coach does a great job um anytime you play anybody in this region they do an outstanding job of preparing their kids so we cannot just think we got to show up and we're going to win on Friday night learn from your experience but then you got to move on and you got to grow from it right yes sir that's that's what it's about um you know these kids they're they're you know we're, we'll be re ready for the challenge um say it in here every week our goal is to get to the 11th game. We got to get. We it starts with Friday night. Our playoff starts with Friday night. You know we. You know we need to focus on Siegel, move move to the next week, move so on, and then you know we'll see what happens. Coach Matt Kreisky, we appreciate your time. Wish the best of luck. I'm going to tell you what. If you want to see a good brand of football, you head on over there to Blackman because the the blaze. He's got the fire burning over there. Coach, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. The Coaches Show is brought to you by Craig's Tax Service, specializing in personal and business tax preparation, financials, and bookkeeping services. Find out more at craigstaxservice.com. Rely on the experienced professionals at Prentice also Heating and Air. Whether it's the blazing heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter, let the Rain Pro professionals at Prentice also Heating and Air Conditioning on West College Street keep your home or business comfortable year-round. We service all major brands and in most cases offer same-day service. Call us today at 615-890-1311. Prentice also Heating and Air, your Ring Pro Partner Heating and Cooling Contractor on West College Street, just under the Thompson Lane overpass. Insurance should be simple, not complicated. That's why at Rayburn Insurance, Agent Ray Cole cuts through the jargon and helps you understand your options clearly. He's committed to finding the right coverage that fits your unique needs and budget. Their team has been a trusted partner in the community since 1973. Ready to make insurance easy? Get with Rick Hall at Rayburn Insurance Agency. He's ready to help you get the protection you deserve. Head over to J. Mullen Jewelry to check out their selection of rings, watches, custom designed jewelry, and much more. They're a local business located at 352 West Northville Boulevard right here in Murfreesboro. They have gifts for all occasions, weddings, graduations, anniversaries, whatever you need, you can find it at J. Mullins Jewelry.